Washington Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff, top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks, Jose. How big of a shift this is it when you have the United States dealing with Syria as a strategy with Russia and Iran, and then the issue of maybe getting more involved boots on the ground wise? Well, it is potentially a big shift. Uh, I'm not sure what's productively be gained by having Iran as part of the conversation right now. They are definitely part of the problem. Uh, at some point, uh, they will be part of the discussion at the, on the end game. But right now, I don't think that's uh, where they're going to play a constructive role. Uh, their interest isn't changing the dynamic on the battlefield. Uh, and I'm concerned, I guess, with the impact this will have on our allies, the Saudis and others, how they'll perceive this overture to Iran. So I have some concerns about that um, in terms of the potential for military escalation uh, you know these special operations troops that may be doing more raids like we saw in Syria to try to grab Abu Sayyaf uh, they're risky operations and the challenges they have to be conducted at a certain tempo so you can exploit intelligence go on to further targets uh, and if we don't do them at a certain tempo we may risk American lives without getting much of a strategic benefit on the battlefield yeah, and then, you, you know, what happened in Iraq where actually an American, you know, soldier died uh, while in an operation uh, against ISIS. Uh, I mean, that seems to be a change. Well, it is a change. If we're going to be much more aggressive on the ground like this, we're going to have to expect casualties. Uh, and, uh, you know, I would like to see, frankly, uh, more buy-in by the Iraqi government that they're willing to make the kind of political compromises to bring the Sunnis in. Because until happens and it really hasn't happened yet Jose uh, but until it does uh, you know we can throw more special operators in and we can uh, participate in more of this combat on the ground but it is really not going to change the dynamic very much uh, so and, and Congressman, uh, I, yeah. yeah I'm sorry to interrupt you I just wanted your, your thoughts and if you could expand a little bit on what you were saying about Iran being part of the problem and yet apparently they're part of these meetings along with Russia how is Iran part of the problem and if they're part of the problem how can can they be part of a solution? Well, you know, they are just like the Russians trying to prop up Bashar al-Assad. Uh, they, like the Russians, are going after uh, the wrong people, the moderates, uh, the moderate opposition in Syria. Uh, but their aim is to preserve this ally. Uh, and frankly, I'd be concerned uh, about the optic of reaching out to Iran and the Russians. It seems to reward them for their military invention, for doubling down in support of Bashar al-Assad. So I'm concerned about the timing of it. Uh, I don't think they're going to be all that constructive a player in this. Uh, I think we ought to be upping our support to the Kurds, our only really reliable ally on the ground. That may offend the Turks, but uh, I think we ought to do it anyway. And, Congressman, last question I want to ask you about the budget deal struck earlier this week. We're hearing about more people criticizing Rubio's against it, for instance. Now Rand Paul is threatening to filibuster it. What do you say? Uh, well, I think it's actually a pretty good deal for a Congress that has been so dysfunctional. Uh, we remove the problem of the pending crisis over the debt ceiling. We get a budget for the next about two years. Um, it, uh, you know, I think lifts the caps equally for defense and non-defense spending. Uh, and I think it makes some important reforms so that uh, those on Social Security disability and those in Medicare aren't going to see either dramatic cuts in benefits or dramatic increases in premiums. So it's a pretty good deal. Uh, you know, the, the one liability from my point of view is it pays for this part by going after the hospitals and doctors and there's not uh, much to spare there they're really I think uh, struggling to to maintain the relationship with patients and provide quality care Congressman Schiff it's always a pleasure to, to see you I appreciate your time this morning